Good evening and welcome to a very special episode of National Geographic's Wild Predators. This week's episode, the Renata. A seemingly innocent creature, but as stealthy and ferocious as they come. Let's take a look at the life of a Renata. Ah, here is the Renata as a baby cub, small and fragile and cute as a button. At this stage in life, the Renata feeds on pine cones and turtle shells. Ah, the Renata cub's mother and father. The Renata will stay under the protection of her parents until her 18th year. Sometimes a Renata will try to become independent in its 16th year because it just can't even with its parents. By the time its 18th year rolls by, the Renata is ready to find a mate. The Renata will travel in a pack of similar creatures to Jones Beach, where she releases her mating scent, White Diamonds, from Elizabeth Taylor, as well as a visual mating call, the Bikini. Lo and behold, the Renata attracts a male from another species, the Ellie. The Ellie originates in the Middle East and survives on sunflower seeds and baba ganoush. The Eli uses his species' own mating call, a ritual known as asking for Renata's phone number until she finally gives it to him. The Renata wastes no time, for once she has found a suitable mate, they wed immediately. Not soon after, the Renata is impregnated by the Eli, because the Renata knows how to keep her man. And look what precious cargo has come about. After nine months of pregnancy, the Renata welcomes her first cub. And not to be outdone by any other species, the Renata continues to push out baby cubs as if they're going out of style. Finally, she stops at five. Five cubs, plus a mortgage, is no easy feat for the Renata or the Ellie. It's time for her to join the workforce. The Renata has a healthy diet and wants to share it with others, and so she does. Ah, a joyous moment in the Renata's life. Her firstborn cub finds a suitable mate, one whose head Renata did not have to rip off of its body. As the Renata reaches her fiftieth year, she looks back fondly at all of the memories she has made. While the life of a Renata is not simple, and in fact quite challenging. She is surrounded by those who love her and those whose heads she has not ripped off of their bodies. If you're sitting in this room, lucky you. Stay tuned next week when we explore the most dangerous beast of the northern wild, the Daniela. Until then, good night and happy birthday, Renata.